Yo, man. So this whole thing, y'all see. If y'all didn't see it, y'all can go watch. I might put a link in the description. Kevin Durant looks like he's boycotting. See my boycotting. Uh, <laughs> well, at least boycotting. See my well, extremely boycotting Charles Barkley with one answer questions. But uh, so Kevin Durant got a problem with Charles Barkley. He looked like he just didn't want to be interviewed at all. But this whole thing started with Barkley commenting on uh, Kyrie Irving. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Oh, so, sorry. Kyrie Irving uh, really didn't want to be interviewed by the media. You know, uh, I'm going to read it right here. It says, Charles Barkley likes to talk. Kyrie Irving does not. The result of that is Barkley going off on Irving for his behavior in typical Barkley fashion. Thursday on ESPN's Keyshawn J. Will Morning Show, the TNT studio host lit into the Nets guard for recently threatening to boycott the media this season. Why? They don't pay you $40 million just to play basketball. Part of it is sitting down with you guys, sitting down with us at NBA TNT and New York reporters, Barkley said on the show. Being with the media is, is a part of your professional, man. Professional obligation, man. It's part it's your job, man. And you can say what you want to say, but these guys today they're different. I don't hate on them, but I'm not sure what point Kyrie is trying to make. Even more than the media boycott, Barkley seems fed up with Kyrie Irving's attitude when it comes to his intelligence. When he talks, I'm like, what is he saying and what is he trying to say? He starts talking about what an artist he is. He's a basketball player. That's what he is. Listen, we're not frontline responders. We're not teachers. Yo, man, you dribble a basketball. Stop acting like you're the smartest person in the room, bro. Now, you, now, can you talk about social issues and things like that? Of course. But some of this other stuff, I'm like, yo, man, you do realize you're just a basketball player, right? And it seems like he's like number and it seems like he's like, no, I want you guys to know I'm the smartest guy in the room. Well, first of all, you're not. You only went to college for six months. A lot of guys are smarter than you. Just answer stupid basketball questions, man. And if you want to say something about social justice, say it and mean it. Because it's important and significant. But all that other stuff, like, yo, man, shut the hell up and talk basketball. This right here is what pissed Kevin Durant off. And Kevin Durant was interviewed on NBA TNT last night. And, and I don't know if he wasn't feeling well. I don't know if he just didn't want to engage with Barkley. As you can see, he kept his head down when Barkley asked him questions. And uh, I'll let you hear it right here. You really just been working on your game, trying to get back your timing and conditioning, really, be, to be honest, correct? Yeah. What it looks like, it looks like Kevin Durant has got his teammates back. Kyrie Irving's back. He don't want to engage in Barkley. You know, Barkley has ticked a lot of NBA players off in past years, man. And, you know, he made up with Draymond Green, though. So if you can make up with Draymond Green, you can make up with anybody. So, uh, you know, Barkley going to always be Barkley, going to be outspoken, whether you like him or not. Kevin Durant going to always catch an attitude. You know, Kevin Durant caught an attitude with Shaq, too. You know, well, you know, Kevin Durant is loyal, man. He, he always, uh, he he always have his teammates back. You know, for the most part, man. He he gonna have his teammates back, man. Wrong or right. So uh, it is what it is, right here, bro. Uh, what y'all think, man? I, I, that was real funny. Barkley didn't know how to respond to that. It kind of ticked him off too. <laughs> oh, peace, big, big facts.